بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم وعلى آله وصحبه الكرام. Today we will continue hematology for medical students new subject myoproliferative neoplasms MPN objectives of our lectures for MPNs first definition and the classification of MPN second discussing the clinical picture and laboratory diagnosis of different MPN so we have to go to the differential diagnosis of MPN also differential diagnosis of massive splenomegaly or huge splenomegaly finally WHO classification of MDS MPN MPNs, a group of chronic hematological disorders, chronic, characterized by clonal expansion of one or more of hematopoietic cell lines due to acquired mutations of hematopoietic stem cell. In this definition, we find features similar to the acute leukemia looks to be associated like acquired mutation of the hematopoietic stem cell but MPN unlike acute leukemia or MEDS in different features first feature it looks to be associated with normal maturation no arrest of maturation like acute leukemia or no abnormal maturation like MDS also all of MPN are chronic disorders so it's called chronic MPN we have three types of MPN polycythemia Ribra vera or BRV, essential thrombocytemia or ET, idiopathic myelofibrosis, the acquired mutation of MPNs is due to JAK2 mutation. Pulmonary stem cell acquired mutation either in the red cell precursor leading to polycythemia repravera with increased in red cell production or in the megakaryocyte lineage leading to increased in the production of the platelets or what's called essential thrombocytemia or fibrosis Increased in fibrous tissue in the bone marrow, leading to myelofibrosis. All of these three conditions can convert to acute myeloid leukemia, but different percentage: ten percent of the polycythemia vera, ten percent of myelofibrosis convert to AML. Why 30% of the polycythemia vera and essential thrombocytemia can convert to myelofibrosis? So, they are transitional forms. What is meaning uh, transitional form? We have uh, two conditions. Primary and secondary. So, we have evolution development from condition to another during the course of the disease starting by polycythemia this is a primary condition going to secondary condition or evoluted into acute myeloid leukemia during the course of the disease 
myeloproft neoplasm are due to jack mutation we can see here the normal receptor cell membrane and intracellular signal transduction no activation of the cell activation by phosphorylation without growth factors we need growth factor in order to activate the receptor and then intracellular signal transduction by phosphorylation this is a normal jack 2 normal condition however in abnormal condition or a mutation a mutation for jack we have activation we have phosphorylation and the activated jack without growth factors autonomous the common etiology of these disorders a single acquired mutation of cytoplasmic tyrosine kinase genus associated kinase 2 what's called jack 2 either heterozygous or homozygous in the marrow or in the blood this mutation is positive in 97 percent of polycythemia vera and positive in 50 percent of essential thrombocytemia and myelofibrosis this is autonomous jack mutation i explained before autonomous in activation without growth factors activation of major pathways signal transduction and transcription activator the net results is promotion of cell survival and proliferation 